Good morning. Joanne here. Um, I just wanted to take a moment today to talk about things that can, well, a certain thing actually that can derail you while you're writing your book. Um, something I've noticed with myself that I'm sure must affect other writers as well is um, I'm, I'm like, I've finished my rough draft. I'm working on doing the editing. I've already done tons of research over the past couple of years about query letters and book proposals and agents and you know who, what kind of publishers take what kind of material, etc. And of course, there's a ton of articles out there about what each agent or let's say what agents in general want. Okay, I, I found an article today talking about what you should not put in a in a query letter. Now, when I read this, it was totally against, each thing that I read was totally against what actual agents had been telling us in videos, uh, video blogs, uh, articles that they put out um, on their submissions page, their guidelines, their submission guidelines. Um, it was totally the opposite. Um, so I'm left dazed and confused about all this, um, but I, right away my initial instinct was to panic. Not the right move because just one more thing to stop you from writing your book, you know. Um, so I just said to myself, okay, close all these articles and stop researching about what people want right now. You don't even have the book finished. Finish the book, perfect the book you know, to the point where you think it's the best it can be. And then what my suggestion is, is forget about those generalized articles, unless you need to know specifically how to write a book proposal, how to write um, a query letter, and, and then just take a general overview of what, you know, how to do that. Then, before you query an agent, go to that agent's um, page, website, um, the agency's website. Same thing with um, the publishers. Go right to their website. Look at their own submission guidelines because each one has different submission guidelines. And if you don't follow them, you, you're not going to look professional. So it looks like you just threw them out there, your queries, and you didn't research anything. My dog's here. Sorry about that, but my dogs are part of my life, so they're in the picture. Um, Hi, Chloe. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to mention today is just to uh, go by each individual agent or agencies or publisher's guidelines when you're about to send your book out uh, or a query or a book proposal. Just go by the individual guidelines because if you try to look up articles and, and take advice from this one and that one, they're all going to be different. And one is, it's not a, fits, a one fits all situation. One size fits all. It's not like that, apparently. So um, I would just, yeah, do a generalized research. But then when you're ready to submit, that's when you look for, before submitting to each agent or publisher, go to their own website, their, follow their own guidelines, and um, I'm sure that uh, that will get you some better luck. Okay, so um, it was nice talking to you today, and uh, I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye-bye.